Brawl Stars is a great game. Fun competition, exciting games, cool rewards, but for all the fun, you're always one game away from all of that being ruined by this guy. Now, if you ever played the game, you know him well. The game starts and, well, everything seems fine, but then someone makes a bad play or they're just not exactly where he thinks that they should be. And it's at this point that a normal player would adapt and find a way to overcome the early deficit, but no, not this guy. He will instantly give up, retreat to spawn where, after every death, he is waiting for you spinning and giving you the thumbs down. There is still time to mount a comeback, but instead he'll either stay there taunting you or run to the corner and touch his screen every few seconds just so he won't go AFK. You however will keep running past him, valiantly giving it your all just hoping that he turns into a bot, but like a sadistic creep who just wants to watch the train go off the rails, he's going to stand there because if he can't win, no one can. Well, except for the other team, because he is the Brawl Stars Paul. Now, the next one is more of a YouTuber stereotype. You see, just when you're getting into the video, it never fails that they come on the screen and they're like, Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Which is kind of ironic, because... Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. But wait, hear me out because I'm going to talk in a really epic voice. Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same again. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. They've set the bar high and there is no going back. And then after that epic read comes the juicy stuff like the champions and the game mode. So they're going to tell you how you can explore millions of, oh wait, <clears throat> excuse me. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. And then this is where they come in and they tell you about the over 600 cool champions champions that you can play and then they'll show you one really awesome one and tell you about their cool abilities like how the legendary venus champion can cleanse her team of debuffs which is really helpful for boss encounters but let's be real they think she's just cute i mean and those graphics do look pretty amazing but of course you've probably heard all of that stuff before so then this is when they'll tell you about the new stuff coming into the game like the newly released faction the sylvian watchers check out these cool champions <laughs> Looks like Venus may have some competition. Mm -hmm. And then finally, they give you a reason to download the game by telling you if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, check out my link in the description or scan my QR code right here and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. If you do that, you'll get a free Epic Champion Ina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard, and you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get into game. You'll find your treasure right here. And that's how they get you every time playing yet another awesome game. Big thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Now Meg may be the most forgotten legendary in Brawl Stars, but there is one thing that she is remembered for. No, it's not that massive swing of a weapon that can obliterate somebody in a single shot, nor that really cool monster truck skin. You see, Meg is basically useless for half the match. In her normal form, she does about as much damage as a piece of toilet paper brushing up against an Abrams tank. But if she can get to her mech form, then she can actually have an impact. The problem is, she always presses the super button at just the wrong time. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You look over at your mech teammate and see that they got their super. Okay, now the fun starts. But right when she's just about dead, that this, is the moment that she decides to press her super button. And this is how we remember her. Jumping into the air and then poof. Just like that, her super is gone, and you're back to having the most forgotten legendary in Dolphin. Now there's some brawlers like Sandy who have more chill than any brawler reasonably should have considering what's going on. I mean, the dude's in a fight, but all he can do is try to take a nap. But there is one brawler who is the exact opposite of him. Sam has literally no chill. From the second that match says brawl to his dying moment, all Sam can do is run straight at you with no regard to strategy because, well, this is his strategy. 
throw knuckle busters, run full steam ahead, kill you while picking up his weapon, heal up, and then instantly turn and look for the next person to throw his weapon. Now you might think that he would get tired of this, but no. It's non-stop, pedal to the metal, unadulterated pressure from stem to stern. Now we don't know exactly what made him so upset. Maybe it's because he's married to Belle. Maybe he drank too much Mountain Dew. We don't really know, but what we do know is that when there is a match and Sam is in there, there will never be a dull moment. Never a moment of plotting your next move, because your next move is always dealing with the Sam charging straight at you like an absolute maniac. And that's what he does, because he's no chill Sam. There are a few things more impressive in Brawl Stars than seeing a really good Mortis player slashing through the competition, team wiping with the perfect super, dribbling the Brawl Ball with precision, and yes, even trick shot. But for every one of those Mortises that you see, you will see a hundred more that are, let's just say, a little less skilled. You've all seen him, the Morris that sits in a bush ready for that enemy to come charging down the field just completely unaware and then like a snake in the grass he waits for that one moment and he leaps into action and finds the wall three times. Now when that happens, the only appropriate thing to do as the Mortis is to swipe up and quit right then and there out of sheer embarrassment, but no. Next time I'll aim, he tells himself only to find a wall. Now this cycle stays on repeat until you've lost, and really, can you blame the Mortis? The dude slammed his face into the wall so many times that at this point, there are no brain cells left to do damage to. He's just a shell waiting to find the next wall to break himself even more. Now with most brawlers, you can count their shots and pick your best spot to retaliate, but with B, it's a never-ending barrage of annoyance. You know the second that you spawn into a match against her what's coming. She's going to spam her shot every second from the moment she sees you until the game is over, which would be fine if her shot was hard to hit, but somehow a mechanical bee is wider than Pam after an all-you-can-eat buffet. Now if you do manage to get yourself close to her, she's just going to drop that stupid gadget that basically makes you stationary target practice for the enemy team. Now maybe you'll get lucky and she'll have the other gadget equipped. I don't know why anybody would do that, but maybe she did. And it's at this point you'll think your time to shine has come. And then you remember her super. You know the one where if you get hit with it, you're basically a dead man walking. Again. Now you may try to juke to the left and to the right thinking that it's going to make a difference, but in reality, you just look like a fish flopping on the shore trying to get back to water. So just stand there, accept your fate so you can go back to respawn and then back to being annoyed by the relentless onslaught of mechanical bees. Now I know I've said that Tick is the biggest jerk in Brawl Stars, but I'm thinking that I might have been too hasty. The one brawler that may even be worse than Tick is oh dear. Now why is it that an old man with a snowblower is the most untouchable brawler in the game? It doesn't matter what you do, if you even attempt to get close to him, you're done for. He will outrange you and slow you down. Now if you try a surprise attack, well, he's got a gadget for that. So you think you'll try waiting for his gadgets to be used. Yeah, then he's got his super ready for you. And that's the problem because Gale always has his super. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, when you see a Gale, if you go to attack him, he's got his super. You see, Gale isn't a brawler that you just kill. He's a brawler that you endure until the match is over or until you've had enough of it and just quit. Now there are some odd characters in Brawl Stars. We've got Deadly Crows, a cactus that's come to life, and even a walking, talking arcade game. However, some of these odd characters are perhaps a little too true to life. Let me explain. Have you ever been in a game with a Ruffs and he, for no apparent reason, drops his sandbags down? You may be thinking, oh, he's just doing that to prepare in case the enemy comes that way, but I'm telling you, that's not what's happening here. Just think about it. What is Colonel Ruffs? a dog. And what, what do dogs dog do doing? whenever you let them outside? They mark their territory. That's the only explanation of why they got dropped in some random place with no enemies around whatsoever. There wasn't a threat. There was no pressure. He was just letting the world know that this is his area. So what happens if there's two Colonel Ruffs? Huh, I think you know. Let's just let them do their thing and, like he said, clear the drop zone. 
Now, I've made fun of Jackie for being the least skilled brawler in Brawl Stars, but there's actually one brawler that could be even less skilled, Amber. Now, I hear you already, you're like Lex. You can aim with Amber, and technically, yes, you can aim your shot with Amber, but the real question is, why would you? When you can just stand back at long range and just hold down one button and win. Somehow, those blasts of fire can keep up with any brawler, so the only recourse is to hide behind a wall. And, well, if you do that, she's just gonna throw out a patch of fuel and block off that area as well. And while all this is happening, Amber is over there thinking that she is the reincarnation of Brawl Stars Jesus merely by holding down that one button. You're so good, Amber.